Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. This is gonna be the second video in the next couple weeks where I'm reviewing some of the Christmas gifts I got. So this is actually one I purchased myself because I went golfing with a few friends and one of them had this. And while I was out on the course, I went to Amazon and went ahead and bought it myself because I really enjoyed it. It works really well. So if y'all are golfers, you need to check out this product. It's the Bushnell Golf Wingman. So basically what it is, is it's a speaker and it has an app associated with it as well. And there's a button you can press on there when you get up to your ball or something like that. And it'll tell you the distance to the front, center, and back of the green. It has a ton of courses in there. One of my good friends lives in Singapore that was golfing with us and he double checked to make sure it had the Singapore and Indonesia courses that he played, and it does. So they seem to have a ton of courses in there. It seems to work very, very well. I'm gonna unbox it, and I'll probably try and just pick a random course that I've played or something close by, and just kind of show you generally how it works. If I get out to the course, I will do an updated review or just maybe a short or something showing uh, some more detail on how this actually does work but I really liked it if you your husband your wife someone you know is interested in golf this would be a great gift so another quick thing on this is how it attaches and I'll show you once I open it up but it has a magnetic mount so it just goes right to your golf cart which is really cool so now we'll go ahead and open it So it's got, looks like a little remote of some sort. I don't remember seeing that with my buddy, so maybe he didn't use it. In this little box, we have the charging cable and instruction booklet. We'll say this is packaged uh, very nicely. We'll take this guy out. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to find something that's uh, easy to compare this to as far as the size of it, because it is, it's not very big. I mean, you can kind of just see it's, I can carry it pretty easily in one hand. It's about the length of my hand there. It does have a little you know, you can wrap a cord to it and carry it that way. It has this here on the back is your magnet. And so you literally just put it up to your shelf. I don't know if I have anything here that's magnetic. So here's a quick video with my phone. Excuse the mess, uh, need to clean up after Christmas and the holidays, but here's my, uh, it's my monitor mount, it's metal. So you can see this is the magnetic piece and it just mounts right to it perfectly like that. It's a pretty strong magnet, you can see. So it works really well as far as the magnet goes. So let's see if it's uh, got any battery in it. It's pretty loud. So it's got a USB output it looks like, which is actually really nice on the golf course. You can charge uh, your phone and stuff if you need to off of that. The other thing is if you want to bring an external battery charger, you can use uh, that to charge any devices or if you need to charge this. Although from what I could tell, the battery life on this is actually pretty good. I'll see if it says anything in the booklet about how long the battery life actually is. It looks like this uh, little circle magnetic mount thing that's a, a remote actually fits right inside the top of it like that. So you can just pop it out. Oops. You can pop it out, pop it back in. If you go, say it's a, a walking only <clears throat> and you can't drive your cart on the grass, you can bring this with you, hit the button and it will play for you. So there's a light, I don't know how you can see it, that's a ring around the end here. 
that just tells you anything going on with the device, if it's charged, if you're connected to Bluetooth, if you're in pairing mode. There is a charging port on the other side from the output port that I was mentioning earlier. So you can charge it on one side and charge items off of it on the other, which is pretty nice. Pretty simple, big buttons. You've got volume up, volume down, play, and power. It says download the Bushnell Golf app. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is an iPhone. I'm gonna to go to the App Store and it's called the Bushnell Golf app. So I'll click on that. It is this guy. The app does not seem to have great reviews, but we'll download it and check it out. All right, so the app's ready. We'll open it up. I don't have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. So it says, let's begin by connecting one of your devices. We have the, man, they have a lot of options. The Bushnell Wingman GPS device. Click continue. Your Bluetooth, okay. Yeah, it says remove the trigger. Remove trigger, press and hold trigger button until you hear a beep and click next. So next. It says press and hold power on the speaker until you hear a beep. Go to Bluetooth in your phone settings and select wingman from the devices. So let's see, settings, Bluetooth. Um, wingman. I assume that means I'm connected. All right, it says device paired. So then it looks like I'm paired. So this is what your screen looks like. Again, this is the first I am using this device, so bear with me a little bit. Um, find remote. Uh, that's kind of cool. So this remote is separate. It has a, a little find remote button, which is kind of nice if you lose it. So you can make sure uh, if it's in your golf bag or something, you can find it pretty easily. That's pretty cool. Settings. It has some um, speak settings, a single click setting, numps distances to the green from the current location of your phone. Hold is an announced predefined custom message. Or you can go to music mode, which is play, pause is a single click, or hold to advance to the next song. So they have two different modes for this remote, which is pretty neat. So if you're not golfing, you just want to use it wherever, you can change it to the speaker mode. So then it looks like it has some speak settings. You can pick the voice you want. And then... Say course info when starting the round. Auto hold advanced message. Say the whole info when you advance. Say water hazard distances when advanced. So once you go to the next round, it'll tell you, hey, you're 200 yards from the water. Distance speak settings. So if you want to say which hole you're on to remind you each time it speaks the distance, you can add that with that toggle there. And then it'll tell you the par value each time if you want it to do that as well. So then you can change what yardage. If you just want to be told the center, you click center. Otherwise, you do front, center, back. And then it says, if you do front and back, when do you want to get that yardage? So if you don't need the front and back yardage when you're teeing off, then you don't you know, have to have it do that. So typically, you know, I'd say inside 200, it's worth having the front and back. Depends how far you're going to be actually going for the green. And then any custom message settings if you want a golf clap crowd cheer anything like that kind of more of a, a funny type thing so we'll go back and then play golf allow while using the app so this may be difficult because i'm not really near a golf course we'll just do the closest one we have and then we'll click black obviously the distance isn't going to be that accurate so you can see that Woodlands Country Club, Black Tees, par 72, center 999 yards. Kind of see how it works. It says I'm 999 yards away, but you can see the app. It's, uh, I actually haven't used that, but it seems to work like a lot of the golf apps. You can kind of actually show where you want to hit, lay up, 
things like that. Kind of gives you the distances. It, it, it seems to be a pretty cool app. It gives you a flyby view of the course, which is really cool. So you can see it doing that now. I don't have to do that whole thing. You can do your scorecard. It tells you hole one, par five, score, the number of putts. Did you hit the green? Did you hit the fairway? You can do your shot distance, so based on where you show up, how far the shot actually went. So there's a lot of cool features to this app. It seems to work pretty well. I'm not sure why it has that bad of reviews on the app. The speaker itself, everybody seems to really love based on Amazon reviews. I think it was like $130 or so. I'll put the link to the Amazon uh, website below so that if you want to purchase this, you can. The music is, is pretty crisp. It sounds really good. If you're interested in this, you have any questions on it, feel free to drop a comment below or shoot me an email. I can talk to it a little bit. The more I play, the more I'll get used to it and how it works. But pretty cool device. And hope you all watch the next review video that comes out. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching.